So Jorge, thank you so much for joining us today on Conversations with Leaders. Thanks so much for your invitation. Certainly. Tell us a little bit about uh, Mercado Libre and your role there. Okay, Mercado Libre is the largest e-commerce ecosystem uh, fintech company in Latin America. I'm the CISO there. Okay. Uh, I lead the cybersecurity initiatives. So security is very important within your organization. How do you go about uh, attracting and retaining security talent uh, to work at Mercado Libre? In my opinion, the, um, the best way to attract and retain people is to leave them freedom to build solutions, to be part of the decisions that you take. Uh, so the, the leader who just follow down the, 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 the orders and so on, uh, for me is over. So the part, uh, the team should be part, uh, important part of, of the process of building solutions and, 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 and tools and so on. Okay. And then uh, as part of that, how does, the, uh, how does your security organization help enable the business objectives of Mercado Libre? We, first of all, for Mercado Libre, it's very important to operate in a very secure ecosystems environment. Uh, we take care of the, uh, the data of our clients right. uh, in both uh, worlds, in e-commerce and fintech world. We apply for PCI, for instance, and, and we apply for every PII law uh, in, every, in every country that we operate, so okay. it's very important for us. Um, we work very close to the business and to the development team in order to be a, an enabler, you know, a blocker uh, team. Right. So we try to work very close to them. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, you, you mentioned uh, PCI and other PII laws that mm -hmm. you need to be compliant with. Uh, within your AWS infrastructure, how do you go about enforcing uh, the governance and the compliance of those particular uh, compliance controls uh, across your AWS estate with, with multiple development teams mm -hmm. using AWS. You want to make sure that, of course, that there's a certain standard and governance followed. How, how do you all actually implement that yourselves? Well, to, to be honest, PCI is full in AWS since two years or three years ago. So for us, it's very important AWS uh, because help us to, to build very fast, secure solutions uh, and take uh, data from every process that we automate. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to, to be in compliance uh, to, to every um, law or norm that we have to apply. Okay. And with, with that level of automation that you've put in place, have you found it uh, challenging when you're, when you're hiring security professionals to ensure that they have the right development and coding skills necessary to be successful in the cloud? Well, f for us, it's, it's, a, it's a must. You, know, oh. you, you have to, to code to get into the, the team. Oh, fantastic. Even if you are a junior, it's your first job. Uh, you have to uh, because it's part of your daily basis activities. So as part of the hiring process, there is a challenge, a programming challenge, a coding challenge, right. that you have to, to be OK with, with that step of the process. So that, that sets the bar to entry. Yeah. Yeah, not, not the only one, but yeah. it's uh, very important for us to, to, to have that skills because it's the way that you will solve every problem in, in every day, no? That's, that, that's a fantastic uh, enabler within your security organization for the, for the overall security culture of Mercado Libre. What other steps have you taken as a CISO to ensure that uh, the security culture is pervasive across all of the business units? Okay. For us, the culture is very important. Yes. Uh, the cybersecurity is not only technical, right. it's, it's cultural first at, at the beginning. So we work very close with every part of the organizations. We believe that the security uh, should be made by everyone yes. in the organization. So we work very close with the development teams. We um, have a strong awareness uh, programs the typical or traditional one, like putting in front of the, the, the crowd and, and telling them about vulnerabilities. Sure. But we also have a more uh, innovative uh, ways of uh, awareness, like 
making a cyber warfare. Like, ah. It's like a contest, okay. internal context, don't, where uh, developers uh, organize themselves, like hackers and, and blue teamers, defenders, yes. Yes. Uh, in the way to, to find out vulnerabilities and fix them as quickly as possible. So at the end of the, uh, that initiative, we have a winner mm -hmm. uh, with the prize and so on. Uh, and it's very, very useful for us to, in terms of impact of vulnerability discovery and in terms of culture, cul culture, sorry. Uh, even with the C-level, we work very close to, to, to put the cyber security in, in the in the agenda. So, so even with uh, your executives as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, we try to work very close to them with that. Uh, for instance, PII is a, is a very thing that is, is on, on the top of our agenda right now. So with, with your level of expertise in, in not only security, but also within AWS as well, uh, what are some of the trends you're seeing for uh, security organizations as they adopt the cloud? Well, I, I used to be a uh, cloud detractor at the beginning of the journey. So no cloud for you? No cloud for me right. at the beginning. Uh, of course, I was, it wasn't a mistake. Now I realize that it's the opposite. Uh, it's very useful in terms of security to be impact very well uh, because you have a, a lot of tools and, and concepts related to, to cloud, you know, like automations and DevOps and, and so on. It's not a trendy thing. Right. It has a, a new culture that is that arrived to, to, to and, and we have to work in a different way. So uh, if I have to give them to someone advice to how to adopt the, the, the cloud, first of all, is, of course, uh, is I understand that you are afraid to, to that because there are new risks, uh, but you also have a lot of benefits to 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 take this risk out, no? So, so, new, so new security opportunities, perhaps. New security yeah. opportunity, yes, totally agree. So you, you've mentioned your security teams and your, your security organization. Um, how do you go about making sure that they're the most effective that they can be uh, at Mercado Libre? Well, it's very important uh, to, be, to work very free so they are part of the, the decisions. They are part of the when we plan uh, from the next year. They they be part of that. So the commitment is is quite uh, hard. Uh, so for, for for us, be part of uh, is really a very s a strong thing. No, you have to to give an idea, and when you uh, find yourself that you were the people who give you an idea and you are implementing that idea and it's yours. Um, and You're empowered. Yeah. You, yes, of yeah. course, it's totally empowered of that. You uh, start building your product that you design, you thought, and it's yours. It's not from the company you are working for. So it's your product. Uh, for me, it's the most powerful way to retain uh, smart people and uh, good engineers. As companies move to the cloud, uh, concepts like infrastructure as code and templatizing AWS environments like in CloudFormation, et cetera, are quite common. What's not quite as common, although we see an uptake in it, is uh, security teams using the same uh, development platforms and pipelines to deploy, to deploy security as code. Can you talk a little bit about how that happens at Mercado Libre? Yes, yeah, sure. Well, Mercado Libre has an optimized way to deploy s software. Uh, so all the development team use this pipeline uh, and it very, it's a very easy way to, to deploy code. So uh, us as uh, cybersecurity team, we have a blue team uh, dedicated to, to that okay. to enforce the software security. So we develop several tools and we integrate with that pipeline. Mm -hmm tools such as source code review on open source security. Uh, so we work in a way that to, to, to get the developer as soon as possible. You know, when you are putting the, the code into production, just at that moment say, hey, be, be, be careful with this sure. vulnerability that you have in your code. Uh, that's the way we uh, approach um, security in terms of the development uh, cycle. 
So at Mercado Libre, uh, you have multiple development teams uh, releasing new features and services simultaneously uh, across your mm -hmm. environment. How do you go about enforcing uh, the governance and the compliance of the different programs that you're trying to adhere with? Okay. As part of the, the process that we integrate into the development life cycle, one of them is to uh, ask the, each developer who creates uh, an application several questions regarding compliance and security in order to classify uh, the, the, um, how critical is that application in terms of PII, PCI, or business as well. Sure. So uh, based on their response, we then uh, talk with them as a security advisor, as a consultant inside the company. Sure. And we make threat modeling with them. And after, the, after that, depending on the, the questions uh, and the application, we uh, apply several controls uh, in, in, in order to protect our data or, or the application itself. And I imagine you have some automated backend controls uh, on AWS itself to sort of catch known bad behavior? We have several of them. And we also use automation in order to respond to, to that uh, lack of security when we detect some kind of bad behaviors, that, as, as you mentioned before. Jorge, thank you so much Thanks for joining so much. us today uh, for Conversations with Leaders. Thank you to you. It was a great time. Thanks thank so you. much.